Yes. Understood. May the light have mercy on you. There she goes. No more magic for you. Hmm. I didn't know the Iron Mask kills right away. Well, from what I've heard, there are two ways it can go. Either it makes you lose your magic, and then slowly your sanity, or it causes a brain rupture once it's branded onto your face. Seems that this woman suffered the latter. Who was she? No idea. She might have been with the rebels the army recently took out near Windwall. They still haven't given up. By all that can be said about your father, he certainly had his followers. They're like weeds. Whenever you think you've gotten them all, you find a new patch eating away the seeds somewhere. I still can't believe the Lord Marshal is allowing them to do this in Greykeep. Weren't they an underground movement just some moons ago? They were. Things change quickly, it seems. Now let's move on. Sure. Got it. Every reign has adversaries, and every battle bears prisoners. It is rumored that a long time ago, only thieves and liars inhabited the prison cells of Greykeep. Nowadays, the situation couldn't be more different. And most of the prisoners are guilty of one crime above all others magic um is there a reason we are here alistair's on watch and he still owes me some money if we're setting out on a mission i think it's best i get it back now <laughs> good old alistair
Tahar, didn't expect to see you down here. Same goes for you, Bertrand. Long time no see. It wasn't that long. Need something? Or are you just here to help your friend through a bloody damn boring shift? A bit of both. I'm here for the money, but I wouldn't mind a good chat. The, um, money? I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Well, best ask the Kraken's innkeep then. I'm sure there weren't that many guards last week who emptied a whole keg. Ah, that money. I almost forgot. Hold on, let me see if I have enough with me. How much was it? Ten gold? Fifteen. Right. Here you go. Thanks. How are you holding up, anyway? Anything interesting happening down here? What, you mean apart from the fact that the Purity is bringing down heretics here by the dozen? Not much. How's your brother? Last time we spoke, you said that the healers still haven't released him. Ah, don't get me started. They say he's still a danger to the people. However dangerous a broken old veteran can be. Bloody war. All that bloodshed, for nothing. I mean, I know I've asked the question a million times, but... Why? What was your father hoping to gain from it? I don't know, Alistair. I just don't know. <sighs> I... You don't. Well, let's not talk about it. It just makes me angry. Anyway, I have to go. Keep your chin up, Alistair. Will do. No city of Nortander evokes as much awe as Greyfell and its guardian keep, the seat of the crown. Built into the Hibernian ruins that once crowned King's Mountain, its walls and towers were made to withstand every foe and army, from the great orcish horde... Interesting. So tell me, Tahar, is it just me or has the general changed? Now that came out of nowhere. I mean, back when I joined the Wolf Guard, he was so different, passionate about our cause. But now, I don't know. Well, the war did take its toll on him, that's for sure. But I think that goes for all of us, doesn't it? Uh, probably. In war, ideals are a luxury, aren't they? I guess. Acknowledged. Yes? Want to trade? Yes, that's it. Now again, remember, eyes locked onto your opponents. No, 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 no. It's fireballs for 
Farewell. One, two, one, two. That's it, lads. Keep at it. opponent. Look at that. The fabled wolf guard has arrived. Always good to see some friendly faces. Sergeant Esme? Always so stern, Bertrand. What do you need? Some early morning practice? <laughs> Why not? What do you think, Tahar? Who are we fighting? Well, what does it look like? Recruits. Some of them almost know what they're doing, but some others could really use some actual sparring. So, what do you say? Well, I guess I could do with some practice. Good. Then get in the ring. Understood. Brandon! Ronan! Come here! Yeah? See these two over there? You'll fight them. But they're Wolfgar. Correct. I've seen you two train, and you won't last a second out in the field. Time for you to get some real practice. But... Get in the ring. As you command. <laughs> Quite the dragon, isn't she? Let's go easy on them, Tahar. All right, lads, here we go again. Show the corporal what you're made of. Wait, you won, all right? I yield. I said I yield, damn it. All right, corporal. I think they've had enough. Well done, lads. Now get back to the barracks and have someone see to those wounds, all right? Poor sods. The sergeant is right. If they're going to survive out there, they need proper training. In other words, we did them a favor. One way to see it. your opponent. Mm -hmm. Good work. Those pals aren't without talent, but they're far too spoiled by these walls. Hang on a moment. Here. I've heard talk about a new mission, and something tells me it's the reason the Lord Marshal wants to see you. And I guess you could use these. A friendly gesture. I almost forgot how that felt. Don't be so dramatic. So, what do you say? Tired already? My boys could do with more real combat like that. Uh, what do you think, Tar? Yeah, why not? I could use some more practice. Great! Let's make it more of a challenge this time. Get in the ring when you're ready. Yes? You there! Yes, you wolf guards! Get your asses over here! Are you talking to us, Sergeant? I am. I want you to fight Corporal Tahar and Karpal. And just when did we become your recruits? You're not. But my recruits need to see some real combat. And a fight between five brethren of the Wolf Guard would be quite the show. Look, we don't have time for... We'll fight. But... Get in the ring. On your marks... And... Fight! <laughs> Stop! That 
Seems like you're as much of a weakling as your father, Tahar. <sighs> What's your problem? We're on the same side. Of course we are. Let's go, man. We're done here. <sighs> Tiara's breath. Yes, that's it! Now again! Remember, eyes locked onto your opponent! One, two, that's it, lads. Keep at it. Hmm. Pray tell. Well, that was unexpected. What did it look like? We. I saw that. Either way, I guess it's best you go see them. Yeah, will do. Yes, that's it. Now again, remember, eyes locked onto your opponent. Let's keep at it. Few people know the story behind the impressive hall, with its gilded pillars and domed roof. It was constructed in 6542 by King Arif Eilith as a monument to his greatness. Arif was known for his cruelty and decadence. When after a fight, his- This isn't the Hall of War. You know that, don't you? No, Bertrand, I forgot. But I want to see this trial you were talking about. Ah, uh, well, it's probably already started. Well, let's go take a look. Silence will not change anything. I hope you realize that. The silence of a defiler. I do not understand why she has not simply been branded yet. Because it is Aeonir's will. Your devotion has always been remarkable, Lady Leonidar. But this woman is... What do you want me to say? <sighs> that I used my magic to kill those soldiers? Yes, I did. And I would do it again. Because they tried to kill me. She's lying for heck's sake! That bloody witch is lying! You know what? You're right. I killed these men just because I liked it. Then I cooked a potion from their entrails and finally found myself a nice little broom to fly off into the moonlight. Do you think this is the time for jesting? I don't. But for the past hour, I have done nothing but repeat the same story over and over again. For which you have no evidence. Yes, and neither do you. But you know, that's the great thing about religious idiots like you. You always pick the story you like most. Now go ahead. Get that pretty little mask on my face already. I'm sure Aeonir would enjoy that as much as seeing elven mages raped by Leonider soldiers. Heresy. This is heresy. Area of Finanmir. You are hereby found guilty of breaking the new laws by using magic 
to slay three soldiers of the royal army. The punishment will be death by the pike and shall be carried out by the morrow. The trial is over. That's tough. What do you make of this? I don't know. She might be speaking the truth, or she might be lying. But it's two witnesses against her word, so I guess the sentence was only fair. Who is that woman? The older one? You don't know? Alright, now that surprises me. That was Amaria Leonider, the only surviving member of House Leonider. All of her sons died in the final battle of the Nortander army against your father's rebels. Hmm. She seemed to be very upset by what the elf said about Aeonir. Yeah, no wonder. She's one of the most fervent followers of the purity. Probably also one of the reasons why they could get so much influence within the crown. House Leonider was one of the greatest armies in Nortander. But let's go, shall we? I wouldn't want to keep the Lord Marshal waiting any longer. Will do. What's next? No city of Nortander evokes as much awe as Greyfell and its guardian keep, the seat of the crown. Built into the Hibernian ruins that once crowned King's Mountain, its walls and towers were made to withstand every... Orders? No, 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 no! It's fireballs you're dodging, not candy! Again! One, two, one, two. That's it, lads. Keep at it. In the midst of the keep, like a lithic giant challenging the sky, stands the Grey Tower. Though not the highest of towers, it is no doubt the most important. You know, Tahar, there's something I've been wondering about lately. What? All this, the army, the wolf guard, the crown. Does it fulfill you? What do you mean? I... Uh, it just... never mind. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. Hmm. Okay. Hmm? Let's see... All right, here we go. Ready to go in? You sound nervous. Nervous? <laughs> uh, no. I just... never mind. Come on, let's go in. The Hall of War is not only where most of Nortander politics are conducted, but also where emissaries and diplomats from other empires are first received when visiting Grey What do we need? Yes. I said dismissed. But all we need is more time. The cure is within reach, and we... You've had your time. And what did you achieve? Nothing. People are dying as we speak. And if we do not stop this plague right now, it'll wipe out all of Greythorn next. Once you've found a cure, fine. We will use it. But for now, this is the only way. I... Understand, Lord Marshal. Forgive me for my failure. Dismissed.
Lord Marshal, General Noria, you wanted to see us? We did. Sentenza? Yes. What do you know about the Bloodburn? I'm not sure what you mean, sir. So, our commitment to secrecy worked for a change. That's refreshing. The Bloodburn is a plague. The first time we heard about it was about three months ago. For almost a moon's turn now, every capable alchemist of Greyfell and Everlight has been searching for a cure. And there are rumors that the elves, the dwarves, and even the greenskins are affected by it as well. Problem is, we are nowhere near a solution. And recently, there has been a massive outbreak at a village near Greyfell. Leonon. Hmm. And am I right to assume that this bloodburn is lethal? Absolutely. It's by far the most dangerous plague Eo has seen since the Red Fever. It corrupts a person's blood, hence the name. It starts with a light fever and some nausea. Within a week, people will bleed from their mouths and their eyes. We don't know what causes it, and so far, no medicine has shown to help. Once the first symptoms show, it goes quickly. The blood forms blisters, which eventually burst open, and by then, the fever already causes an excruciating pain. After that, it's over quickly. Within the next few days, the victim will bleed out like a slaughtered pig. Tiara's breath. Indeed. Any idea what causes it? How does it spread? Well, that's the thing. We don't know. Some things seem to suggest that it's contagious, whereas some alchemists believe the infections occurred random. At random? Well, not entirely. Apparently there's a pattern, but it seems almost too ridiculous to say it. The infected we've talked to, many of them have reported hearing, I don't know how to put it, noises around where the infection must have taken place. Noises? Yes. Some of them even said it sounded like a voice. <laughs> Superstitious nonsense, of course. But it might suggest that it's more than a mere disease, which is troubling. A curse. That is what you're suggesting, isn't it? A curse? No. If anything, I think it might be some kind of magical anomaly. However, you're not here to muse about the causes of the plague. We have scholars set on that. You're here because the Wolf Guard will set out on a mission. Sentenza? We have to find a way to contain the outbreak in that village, Leonon. If the infections reach Greyfell, we will be faced with a catastrophe that will make the Mage Wars look like a pleasant dream. Thus, we, together with a small division of Nortander soldiers, will travel to Leonon and assess the situation, and see what we can do. I understand. But if there's no cure, how can we contain it? We'll see when we get there. What's my role in this? What kind of question is that? You're a member of the Wolf Guard, and this is a royal mission. End of story. If the Bloodburn is deadly, how do we protect ourselves when we get into the contaminated territory? Again, we haven't understood the Bloodburn's distribution pattern yet, so there's a chance it'll not affect you anyway. But to make sure, our alchemists have prepared a concoction that's supposed to protect against the infection. Supposed to protect? Well, it did work for our scouts. We'll simply have to take the risk. Understood. When do we set out? Tomorrow at first light. Just. Get your things and your potion from the alchemist downstairs. His name is Albertus de Reims. Then meet me at the gate when you're ready. Anything else, Lord Marshal Arendir? No. Just... solve the problem. We will. In the midst of the keep, like a lithic giant challenging the sky, stands the Grey Tower. Though not the highest of towers, it is no doubt the most important. Orders? Hmm. 
Now would you look at that? Let's see. Are you Albertus de Reims? Depends on who's asking. Corporal Carpel and Corporal Tahar, Wolfguard. We were told you can give us a medicine that can protect against the bloodburn? Ah, so that's you. Yes, here are your potions. Drink two sips of it two hours before entering the contaminated zone. It lasts for about seven hours. And it works? Of course it works. Just make sure to never go over my suggested dose, otherwise it can be lethal. Now, is there anything else? If not, I've got business to attend to. No, that was all. Thank you. Yes? Yes. No city of Nortander evokes as much awe as Greyfell and its guardian keep, the seat of the crown. Built into the Hibernian ruins that once crowned King's Mountain, its walls and towers were made to withstand... Pray tell. There you are. Ready? We are. Good. Then let's go get the others. We have a long journey ahead of us.
wide swathes of green, fertile soil, lakes and rivers rich in fish. The people of Leonon, a small village in the meadowlands of Leonidar, have long led a peaceful life. Now the tides have turned. According to word of mouth, the village has been struck by the blood burn. It is your mission to ascertain these rumors' veracity and act accordingly. All I'm saying is that I just don't understand why people always act that way. I mean, I... Quiet. We're here. This is Leonon? Huh. Looks pretty serene. Still. What about our troops? Should we wait for them to catch up? No. Our first task is to assess the situation anyway. How bad is it, and how many are infected? Once we have a clearer picture, we'll act accordingly. Meaning? We'll see. Hmm? What is it? I'm ready. What's next? Acknowledged.
Understood. Corpses. Was that the blood burn? We'll see. And if that's the case, let's hope the potions will protect us. Huh, what's this? Hmm. Looks like an old trading post. I guess it got overrun by rebels during the Mage Wars. We might actually use it as an outpost if we need help from our troops. Speaking of troops, where's the rest of the Wolf Guard? Didn't you say we'd meet up with them near the King's Forest? Yes, but they're still up north taking care of some rebels. They should arrive soon, though. Yes? I need healing. What do we need? I need healing. Now would you look at that? Let's see.
Interesting. Ragged cloth, blistered feet. They look like refugees. Huh. All that time stationed in Great Keep almost made me forget how many of them are still out there. Damn that bloody war. Of course. Yes? Now would you look at that? Now would you look at that? A respectable soldier, right in our humble encampment. Who are you people? We didn't expect to find- Who we are? Well, we like to call ourselves the Travelers, though most would probably refer to us as refugees. Orphans of the war, if you're feeling poetic. Tramps, if you want. So, you're the leader? Well, I'm definitely the one with the most winters on my back. And I guess that made people trust me. Where are you from, then? I take- City? Town's more like it. Mistvale, it was called. <sighs> I still feel like all this is just a bad dream, some- But to answer your question, most of these folks I met on the road, and we just stuck together. It's- I see. But why stay on the road? Why not try your luck in- <laughs> Did you really just ask that? But what do you think the odds are of the go- I learned it the hard way. You see, this is why we came to Leonon, a village, and we only heard the best about it from a trap- Well, good luck to you people. Wait. I... I don't know how to say this, but... <sighs> what is it? It's actually quite simple. We were betrayed by one of our own, a young fellow named Gilbert. He was responsible for giving out... Fi Long story short, he stole from us. When our provisions were running low, we decided that we needed to cut the rations. But Gilbert didn't accept it. I'll see what I can do. Do you think... I I'm sure of it. It only just happened last night. And with them elven folk around, he wouldn't dare to go far. Thank you, soldiers. It's good to know that the crap She does. Let's see. Right away. Orders? Onwards. What the? Salangar, who are you? And what by Ellen's reigns are you doing here? Sentenza Noria, General of the Wolf Guard, and we'll be the ones asking the questions. Wolf? Oh, I see. Then talk to our scryer, El So do I. Acknowledged. The Wolf Guard. Huh. This what are you doing here? It is, and we are aware of that. Spare me the verbiage. What's the meaning? As you might know, this village has been struck by the Bloodburn. What about the corpses? We found what looked like villages. Bandits, not villagers. They were near the village when we got here, and we took care of Since when exactly? You've built quite- Since a source informed us that there would be an outbreak. You knew there'd be an outbreak? Yes. You do realize that what you're doing here could be considered an invasion, right? Maybe so, yes. Well, we are also here to- I appreciate the notion, but- Why? Because I know what you came here to do, and it's a mistake. What we- what do you mean? All right, that's enough. We're here by order of the Queen, and- You're not. What? The White Mist 
treaty was struck between the Moorhear Scryers and Queen Aeolus. You, or should I say, Lord Anger and those ma- The purity has nothing to do with this. We are here to prove- Well, we will take care of that. Now leave, or I will make you. Was that a threat? It was. You have five minutes to get back to where you came from. Then our archers will open fire. Leave. Back to the trading post, now! Hmm. it's too late for that now. Word is spreading rapidly and those purity lunatics are using it to their advantage. I guess you don't like them. No. And I think Erendir's way of handling them is dangerous. Hmm. Our troops got up. Good. General Noria, y you what's the matter? Is something wrong? Look up ahead and you'll see. We have unwanted company. Where's the rest of you? At the crossroads, sir. Waiting for your word. Good. Then send them in. The elves won't let us into the village, so we'll force them to. If we do it right, they won't stand a chance. Anselm, you'll help me develop a strategy. Corporal Tahar, you will oversee the setting up of the outpost. What's your name? Uh, Seamark, sir. Gerald Seamark. And you grew up here, right? That is correct, sir. Good. Then you know the area. Now, let's get started. If these damned more here want blood, they shall have it. Yes? Yes? Pray tell. Yes. Hmm? You're Corporal Tahar, highest... Yeah. Any advice on how to get started? Hmm. We should probably stock up on provisions first. Got it. Ah, and be sure to task some of our men to take care of transporting the resources, too. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Let the Taskmaster know if you need something, Corporal. It will only 
take a second. This will be a masterpiece. Well then. Corporal, did you send out hunters already? Yeah, and they already found some game. I also tasked a couple of men to gather wood, as you suggested. What's next? Good question. I suggest you head out and see if you find more suitable spots to establish outposts. Closer to the elves, preferably. The more territory we control, the easier it will be to win the battle. Makes sense. All right, then. All right, let's find more spots to set up outposts. We need to gain more ground. Agreed. Yes, that's a good spot. Post has been built. We've expanded our borders. Understood. Now would you look at that? We still need to gain more territory, Tahar. If we don't, the elves can pin us down. As you command. Understood. Interesting. This will be a masterpiece. to do so little time all right then let's get to it 
Yes? Any news? Yes. We set up some new outposts, as you suggested. What now? Well, I guess now would be the time to arm our men and prepare them for the attack. In other words, we should put up a barrack. Then that's what we'll do. Take a second. Chop, chop, man. Let's get to work. All right, then. Let's get to it. Ah, that should work. Well, then. This will be a masterpiece. It'll only take a second. So much to do, so little time. Chop, chop, man. Let's get to work. Building completed. Yes. Stay alert. Let's go.
Expansion is the key to victory. The outpost has been built. We've expanded our borders. Right away. Look at that, boys. We're in Take him down! Fun. We're being attacked! This is over. All right, yes. then, let's get to it. It will only take a second. All well, right. Then. Expansion is the key to victory. Of course. Expansion is the key to victory. The outpost has been built. We've expanded our borders. I'm We're right. being attacked! You don't know who you're messing with. You read my mind.
Take them down! We're being attacked! What is it? Man. Got it. Charge! Damn it! I need healing. For the crown! Yeah! Damn it! I need healing. Yes. Orders. What's next? Stay alert. Orders. We're being attacked. We'll do. Pray tell. Hmm.
Whatever's necessary. We're being attacked! We're being attacked! We're being attacked! Huh? We're being attacked! What is it? Pray tell. Charge! We're being attacked! We're being attacked! This is who's not over here messing with. Made up your mind. We're being attacked! Orders? Mm -hmm.
We're being attacked! For the Queen! You'll regret this. Hmm. I'm ready. Understood. <laughs> 